Hey guys, welcome to Productive Insights. I just wanted to share with you a fantastic application called OmniFocus and the newest release, which was released earlier today, OmniFocus 2. Uh, for those who are not familiar with OmniFocus at all, I'll quickly take you through the underlying getting things done approach on which OmniFocus is based. Um, if you want to have a look at it in detail, just um, go to ProductiveInsights.com and search for GTD with OmniFocus and it will bring you to this blog post. So what is the getting things done approach and why would you use it? The getting things done approach was coined by David Allen and it allows you to create a system, a trusted system, where you can put all your tasks and um, it significantly reduces stress levels while making you a hell of a lot more productive. So an excellent book to buy uh, on the Getting Things Done approach is the book called Getting Things Done by David Allen. Or another really great book to buy is called Zen to Done, both of which are available on, on Amazon and you can get them via these affiliate links. Um, and they explain the process in detail. But in summary, the Getting Things Done approach is based around the idea of capturing tasks as they come up through the day and then assigning them to contexts and projects. Well, most of us know what projects are. They're just a collection of two or more tasks. But the benefit in the Getting Things Done approach is that it allows you to assign context to tasks. So what's a context? A context is essentially a set of conditions necessary for a task to be executed. So there's some tasks that you might want to do at home or some you can only do at work. So you assign the home context to the home task, the work to the work tasks. You might assign phone to some tasks as a context and so on. The benefit of assigning it by context is that you can execute on tasks from different projects while you're in that particular context. So while you're on your phone, you might want to execute on tasks that you know are from three different projects. One might be call the doctor, another might be um, make an appointment to see your accountant, which might be part of your finance project. Uh, another one might be um, you know call my wife to tell her I'm running late. So there's different kinds of uh, tasks that you can pull on from context and basically context gives you this excellent uh, alternative way of toggling through your tasks. So the benefit of the system is it dramatically increases your productivity while reducing stress levels and gives you a more balanced life. There's a little video on here which can which will take you through the basics of OmniFocus and how it works and looked like and it was quite as you can see fairly cluttered and it wasn't quite as clean. Now if you compare that to OmniFocus 2 as you can see, it's the interface is a lot cleaner. You have projects, context, forecast, flagged items, and reviews. You can just toggle between those, which is really, really useful. What I particularly like is the forecast view here allows you to look at the various appointments in your calendar. And if you had any events within OmniFocus, and I don't at the moment because I haven't um, you know, imported my database into this version of OmniFocus yet, but if you had any tasks, they would actually appear alongside your uh, calendar events. So it gives you visibility on how free your days are and when to allocate your key tasks. This to me is one of the really excellent benefits of upgrading to OmniFocus 2. That and uh, also this review feature which previously used to only exist on the iPad. So you could save yourself a few dollars and just um, upgrade to OmniFocus 2 on the Mac and then you don't need to get the iPad OmniFocus version if you haven't already. So that's the overview of OmniFocus. And now for a really quick run through on Productive Insights. You can access Productive Insights by going to ProductiveInsights.com and it's this is the blog. It's got about uh, 65 plus articles on um, how to be more productive. There's a video here on Steve Jobs and his commencement speech at Stanford. An excellent post on uh, 45 insanely useful keyboard shortcuts for your Mac. 
there's a post on how to get the most out of 2014 using productivity and tips on simplicity. There's also a post on how to stop procrastination dead in its tracks once and for all. It's a three-step guide. So there's a lot of stuff here. So please do visit the website, leave some comments, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Bye for now.